Hey everyone, hey, I am super excited to be with you guys today and to get you to take this assessment of your Facebook sphere building capacity. Uh, we just created it and I'm so excited to take you through it. And so I'm going to show you some slides and I want you to pause as you go through it and use the worksheet underneath this video, uh, print it out or just uh, use a blank uh, piece of paper. That's totally fine too and draw it out. But I want you to stop and I want you to take a measure of where you are leaking business from Facebook and where the missed opportunities are. And once you've done with the assessment, you can send me a message below with a screenshot. Just take a photo of it with your phone and send me your results because I wanna know how I can help you more and where we need to focus our attention and our energies on growing your sphere of influence and getting you that repetitive business that is getting some people four or six clients a month with no ads from Facebook. It's so exciting. So let's just jump in and have a look at some slides and I'm gonna be asking you some questions as we go. So your worksheet should look like this. It should look like this here, three beautiful circles and you're like, I wonder what's gonna happen with that. And on the back or on page two, you should see something like this. This is what we're gonna fill out at the end. Don't worry about it. Okay, so the first thing I want you to understand or remember is there are three reasons why you really got into real estate, this incredible job where you don't have a boss, where your uh, income isn't capped by anything other than your own ingenuity and your ability to build the business of your dreams. So you wanted to get into this business to make more money, to have freedom, so no one keeping an eye on you via your time or controlling you. You wanted to be your own boss. And you wanted also probably to have something that really felt meaningful, a job that really gave you a lot of satisfaction. So money, freedom, and meaning were why you got into this business. And this system, is a system of generating perpetual business that will not steal your money, your freedom, uh, and it will give you a great deal of meaning if you're building relationships and creating content that really engages people and makes a massive difference in their life. So just fill that in there. If you need to pause, pause the video, and then go ahead and, um, and play it again. All right, so there are three parts to this model. Again, you can just write this into your worksheet. Uh, we need to attract the right kind of sphere of influence, have the right relationships. We need to engage them in a powerful way that gets them talking and involved in what we do. And then we need to inspire them to use us and refer us and tell everybody about us. And when we can do these three things, attract, engage, inspire, we are going to be on the money. But let's see where you are at right now with your sphere of influence and your Facebook profile. And there are nine different metrics that we're going to measure Okay, so there are nine different metrics and they're going to be three in attract, three in engage, and three in inspire. So you can draw, draw those little dividers in if you want. And when you're ready to go, uh, play the video again. All right, so these are the traffic light systems that we're going to use. So just so you know, it looks like this. Uh, red, if I ask you to assess your ability with your Facebook presence and your sphere of influence right now, Red, you're going to give yourself two points, and we'll go over this at the end. That's a real sticking point. It needs to be solved to get you more clients. Unless you solve this problem, your Facebook is going to be disappointing in its ability to generate consistent business for you. Five, uh, orange, it's not as good as it should be, and you're leaking some business here. And then green, 10, this is a strength area. So I'm going to ask you as we go through each of the nine categories on your sheet, uh, to say is it red, yellow, or green. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll go over it again uh, and we'll give you criteria as we go. But just in general, red, you're stuck. Orange, it's a little bit blocked, but sometimes it works. Green, you're good to go. Does that make sense? Good. All right, so here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at attract, three components to attract. When we're talking about your Facebook friend list, your sphere of influence, the people you're connected to, uh, there are three components. The components, we're gonna call them composition, growth, and welcome. Composition, growth, and welcome. Simply put, I've got a little chart here. So let's start color coding yours in and get some colored pencils out and color it in and photograph it and send it to me at the end. Composition wise, uh, that's what we're talking about here is are you connected to enough local people for most realtors the biggest problem they have to overcome is simply not enough people know who you are 
and how good you are at selling real estate. They don't know who you are and how good you are at selling real estate. We want more people to know about you. And that can all start. This problem can be solved with your Facebook profile. We can turn you into someone who is super connected and got loads of success stories with that. So if you look at your Facebook friend list, ready? And you think you have over 3,000 local friends, not other realtors or other people in other places, <laughs> doesn't count, but 3,000 people who live in the communities you want to sell. If you're connected to over 3,000 local people, you can give yourself a big tick and give yourself a green light here. If you have between about 500 and 3,000 local friends, you can give yourself an orange light. You have a lot of potential but it's not as good as it could be. And if you are under 500 local friends, then you are red. And so just pop that in right there. So perhaps for our example, it's an orange, okay? All right, so that's great. Now let's look at also at growth. Spheres of influence need a constant influx of new people coming in and older people who are no longer interested in us going out. And so it's very important that your sphere of influence is actually growing. So if we were to think about your Facebook friend list and think about how it's growing, here's the thing I want to know. Uh, in the last week, have you had 25 plus new local again, people coming in, new local people coming in. If you have 25 plus a week, you are green, you're growing. If you're between five and 25, you are orange and you have some growth, but you're puttering about a bit. And if you have less than five, you are red. You can go to your recently added friends list on Facebook to find this out, or you can just give us a guess. But yeah, you would put a red in if you were less than five, okay? So again, stop the video, go back if you need, but plus 25, great green, that's a week, five to 25 orange, uh, less than five red. Now let's talk about welcoming. New people, great source of business, great source of referrals. Don't have any baggage of the old people. There's a new excited energy. It's like you love everybody. Everybody knows what that's about, right? Or most of us do. Uh, so uh, if you have a clear strategy to welcome new people in, if you have a clear way when you get a new Facebook friend of making them feel welcome, you're giving, you're not selling, and you're not ignoring them. If you have a clear strategy, you're a green. If you, uh, if you have a sometimes strategy, like you sometimes engage the new people, sometimes you do the right thing, you're an orange, but if you really don't have an approach to dealing with new people, you are a red. So go ahead and put that in there. If you are green, you'd put yourself in a green like that. Hopefully that's making sense. Again, pause if you need to, but just keep moving forward as fast as we can. Let's talk about engagement and the importance of having a sphere of influence, but nurturing, not doing nasty nurturing, not ignoring them, not just talking about business all the time, but really having great conversations. First thing I wanna ask you about is comments. On your Facebook profile, are people consistently engaged? This organic nurture is so powerful. Um, if you're getting 100 plus comments regularly on Facebook, that's a regular part of your rhythm, you're a green. If you are getting between 20 and 100 comments, sorry, 30, 30 and 100 comments, you are orange. And if you are less than 30 comments on average, you are red. So you red, less than 30, uh, orange, 30 to 100, or green, 100 plus. Pop yours in there. I know some of you had some great engagement recently, but we want to get your uh, consistency um, going forward. We actually have a gallery of like 500 plus interactive posts with over 100 comments for people in our training. So we can do that pretty consistently. The other part, we're gonna talk about brand and we're gonna talk about hand raising posts. So let's talk about brand now. Brand is, um, is there a clearly defined reason why I, Jeff, or anyone locally in your neighborhood would tell their friends, you've got to follow Susan on Facebook because, as you can say in one sentence, what the value of your Facebook presence is. Not that you're a great realtor, but what's the value of the content? Her videos about dogs are hilarious. She asks the most profound questions to get you thinking. Um, her, uh, her photographs of the local area are stunning, right? So if there's a really clearly defined reason why other people will be talking about your content, then we're gonna give you a green. 
if there are some good reasons, if your presence you think is pretty much better than most other realtors, then you're an orange. And if there's very murky and no real reason why, you can't define it at all, then you're a red. So let us know. Are you green? Amazing presence that everyone talks about and tells their friends about. Orange, sometimes good, or but could be better. Or uh, not really sure here, then you're a red. So pop that down there. Again, if you need to uh, go, if you need to, to uh, if you need to stop the video, stop the video. <laughs> All right. Okay. Lastly, for engagement, let's talk about hand raising posts. The reason we post content and the reason we in real estate is to have actual conversations about real estate on a regular basis. We call them hand raising posts and we're getting better and better at them. So with your content, is it giving you people to talk to about real estate every single week? If you think it's your content is generating about 20 plus real estate conversations, either through a messenger or in the comment feed itself, but if you have about 20 plus from Facebook real estate conversations a week, then you are green, my friends. You are green, and that is good. If you are uh, between five and 20 real estate conversations a week, you are orange, all generated from Facebook. Just make sure it's from your Facebook profile. Or if you are less than five, you are red, okay? So you'll probably see some oranges and some reds there that I'm picking. All right, so now we want, and we're working our way around the wheel, we want you to be attracted to more and more incredible, great people who live in your local community. We want them engaged in your content and commenting and telling their friends about it on a regular basis. And when it's right, they're putting up their hands with, to have a real estate conversation with you. But we want to do the last thing. And the last thing is we want to inspire them to refer you and use your services. So let's talk about the importance of making your Facebook presence real and tangible and not just an odd social media thing. Three parts to this. Message conversations, a messenger. Real life conversations on the phone or in real life for a coffee or at an event, for example. And then um, is it generating clients and referrals? Tangible business, okay. So let's talk about this. Um, if you're having 30 plus messenger conversations with people in your sphere of influence, not your drunk uncle or your wife or me, but actual people in your community a week, if you're having 30 plus a week, like Jay Andrew in our training, then you, my friend, are green. You're good to go. If you are having uh, five to 30 messenger conversations a week, doesn't have to be about real estate, could be about business, life, could be referral based relationships, but if you're having about five to 30 a week, you, my friend, are orange. And if you're having less than five, uh, you, my friend, we have to do some work together. You are red. Okay, red. Because if you're not talking to people, you won't sell. All right, let's talk about real life conversations. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're red there, that's fine. We can work on that. Real life conversations from Facebook. So are you moving things? And do you have a strategy to move things from Facebook via messenger to the phone or for coffee or for real life, etc.? If you're not having real conversations from Facebook, um, if you're less than five a week, you are red. Just it's not giving you real life juice. So you're red. If you're having about five to 15, then you're orange. And if you're having 15 plus, again, like Jay Andrew in our training, who sometimes will have 40 plus a week, then you are green. And Jay gets about uh, three or four um, clients a month in a luxury market just from his profile. So he knows it works right? So uh, more than 15, green, 5 to 15, orange, uh, less than five phone calls or real life meetups, you are uh, red. All right, lastly, this is what we're all here for, because we want more money, more freedom and more meaning. So we want this to be uh, resulting in tangible work with people that we like and that we love, right? And so uh, if you are getting four to six clients a month from your Facebook profile, you're green. And that's great. If you are uh, one to four uh, clients a month from Facebook profile, you're orange. If you are zero to one, my light just went off, zero to one, you are, you are red. So are you zero to one, red? Are you one to four, orange? Or are you four to six, green or more? 
So just pop that down there and you'll have a graph that looks something like this. Um, you'll see on the back of your um, worksheet, I want you to go through and just fill in your results according to color right down there. And then we're going to score it, remembering that uh, five is orange. You get five points for orange, two points for red, 10 points for green. Okay, five for orange, two for red, 10 for green. And so you'll come down and you'll score it something like this. Your worksheet should look like, okay, orange five, red two, green 20, uh, 10, pardon me, <laughs> green 10, orange. So this is how it would look. This is the mock one we did. Yours will be different. And then just add it up and put a number at the bottom out of 90. And this will let us know where you are on your worksheet here. Take a screenshot of your worksheet or a photograph of it, pardon me, and send it to me via the button below this video. So when we get together, I can really help you as much as possible. Our goal is for you to go on a journey where you have this very simple way of generating consistent business from your sphere, where you go from this to this. And that's when you get uh, real value for, for your work and your time and the hours you're putting in on social media. Um, Dana Riley here has gone from 10 transactions last year to about 40 this year. She's getting four to six clients a month just from her Facebook profile, which is really amazing. And it's kind of what I want for you. So again, go back to the video, start and stop it. But once you've got your results, um, send that photo to me of what your worksheet looks like. And we'll be able to see the few places where we need to focus on to get you results really, really fast. This is great stuff. I'm so excited to be working with you guys and to see where you're at. Send me a message. Can't wait to talk with you. Can't wait to help you some more. I will see you very soon.